What's going on guys, Crater here back for a new video and this is my review of the SH Figure Arts Yellow Buster and Usada Lettuce from Tokame Sentai Go Busters. Yoko is the Yellow Buster range of the Go Buster team. She's a teenage girl which will explain her short temper side. Her partner Buddy Roy is Usada Lettuce. She has an incredible kicking jumping ability but her powers have a trade off. Her weakness is that if she runs out of calories she'll be unable to move which is why she eats a lot of candy. One of her main personality traits is that she tends to say a lot of things without thinking. Her arsenal consists of the Morphing Brace, Ichigan Buster, Shogun Blade, and the Transpod. Her vehicle is the Buster Vehicle RH-03, and her mecha is the RH-03 Rabbit. Some interesting trivia is that Yellow Buster is the first Sentai hero to be based on a rabbit. Also, she is the only Go Buster with a Buddy Roy of the opposite gender. And speaking of Buddy Roids, let's move on to his side of lettuce. Usada Lettuce is the buddy boy partner of Yoko. Usada often can be protective of Yoko which will lead him to bicker sometimes compared to the other buddy roids. Usada has the most faith in Yoko's abilities. In the base, he works on data management and control room. He can combine with Buster Vehicle RA03 to become Yellow Buster's Megazord. Usada Lettuce can combine with Yellow Buster for a protective armor on her suits, known as Power Customs. Some interesting trivia is that he's the only buddy roid with a human partner of the opposite gender. Also, he is the only one who doesn't have a suit actor as he is smaller than the others and don't have a humanoid form. Now before we look at the figure, let's look at the box, shall we, that the figures came in. As you can see right here, this is the box for the Twin Sentai Go Busters Yellow Bust New Sada Lettuce Figure Art Box. Um, on the right hand side, if I can zoom in on that, this is what I have a camera for guys, just saying. <laughs> there you go, Twin Sentai Go Busters. And then look at the box. Nice cover art again. Love the scheme, the color scheme of how the Go Busted their art. It showed the Red Buster's visor along with whatever reputation of the Ranger. If it was Red Buster, it was blue. If it was Blue Buster, it was blue. I said blue twice, didn't I? <laughs> if it was Yellow Buster. In this case, it's yellow. And I like the artwork here because both shows both Usada Lettuce and Yellow Buster because it's a two pack set because they wanted to release. That's why I'm glad, even though sadly we didn't get beaten stag, they wanted the core team to have their Go Busters, which makes sense. What they decided to do is they released Go Sahi Gorilla as a figure, too. And they get this figure, and since Usada Lettuce, since he doesn't really justify having a whole figure release. Hey, so I just released with Yellow Buster, but Yellow Buster still comes with the same amount of accessories and hands as Red and Blue Buster. You're not getting cheated out of it, just whatsoever. The nice art artwork there. I like the tint of the yellow. And as always, even though I can't see it, I already know what it says. SH Figure is a new standard figure series that incorporates the Bandai action figure art under the theme pursuing character expression through humanoid action. For some reason here, I got whatever this code was. I don't know who I got it from. It was brand new though. I just don't know why that's there. This is a premium Bandai um, item which means that they only made the amount that they got pre-ordered so this was a exclusive item and I don't think I recall I don't recall it costing me this much again Go Buster didn't really sell well therefore their prices on the internet now on secondary market at least well after their release remember this came out like around 2012 or, two, or late 2000 or early 2013 I should say um, their prices are pretty decent so I'm not even complaining since Go Buster is my favorite Sentai series um, I have no complaints there. Let's look at the top real quick. SH Figure Arts Tokyo Sentai Go Busters. Uh, Yellow Buster and Usada Lettuce. Tokyo Sentai Go Busters, Yellow Buster, and Usada Lettuce. I don't know why it's in And like that. There you go. SH Figure Arts. On the bottom, Tokyo Sentai Go Busters, Yellow Buster, and Usada Lettuce. On this side, Tokyo Sentai, Go Busters, Yellow Buster, Musada Lettuce, again, and on the back showing the pictures and a bunch of poses you can get with the figure. Summer style heroic action, it's morphing time, weapons in action, Busters ready to go, shows Yellow Buster and Musada Lettuce. I had no idea you could actually flip open his arm, I thought his ability was just simply rolling around. Interesting, I did not realize that. After our many years this came out, I didn't even notice you can put his arms up. Hey, at least you got to bank your buck on this um, for this time. So, <laughs> weapons and actions, you get the idea. 
So this is the official box for the SH Figures Yellow Buster and Musara Les from Tokome Sentai Go Busters. Now we'll be looking at both of the figures starting with Yellow Buster. And here is the Yellow Buster figure art. Looking at it real closely, this is a extra cool figure. Um, I like the paint. I like the yellow on it. They really did a good job on yellow. Like it's really brightest yellow. I know it doesn't do it justice on my camera, but I prefer the yellow in this. I think it's very, very cool. Um, just nice detail on it. The only thing I want to point out, you know, I was going to get to it when I, while I go through the figure from top to bottom. Uh, the skirt. Now, past since I released it before 2012 for the female rangers, that would include um, the Shikangers and the Gokaijers. Their female respective rangers, Shikin Yellow, Shikin Pink. Gokai pink and Gokai yellow. They had removable skirts because they couldn't really move their legs while they were in the skirt. So they had two different skirt pieces that you can do. Starting with Go Busters, I guess they figured out how to, I guess they found the technology to move Yellow Buster in a decent amount throughout the skirt. So as you can see, I can move Yellow Buster and a decent form right here and I can move her upward same thing as well okay, I guess they finally figured it out on how to do it and the skirt is very like flimsy so you can I think I'm using the right word so you can basically it won't just stay in one place like you can you can get so you can get a lot of reach with yellow buster thanks to this new skirt that they decided to use Basically, they, instead of having two different pieces, they was able to just go with the one piece thing, which I enjoy. So I had to keep swapping skirts if I'm going to do different poses. It would have been annoying. So, yeah. Otherwise, let's look at the figure starting right now. Surprise zoom out a little bit. And the camera doesn't want to work with me. Fail, guys, on camera. All right. Look at the nice head for a Yellow Buster. 360-degree ball joint. Very, very cool. Uh, there you go. Let me just zoom out a little bit. And then, there. Okay, maybe we're gonna work with like this for now on, at least for the time being. So 360 head, ball joint, I think that's pretty cool. Nice, obviously all the people have it. You can also take off the head helmet. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Same movement as all three go buses. This is a female mold. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is a brand new mold. Uh, unlike red and blue bus since obviously she's a female she had to use different modes so uh, they had to do a completely different mode for yellow buster and overall it's kind of similar to the males but obviously just have free male components like breast and skirt feminine legs smaller arms you get the idea arm can obviously move all the way up here nice detail and everything again pretty much the same exact suit from the red and blue bus, you're just in a female style. Um, let's ratchet here. I don't know why it's giving me like force. Like why is it giving me some friction? Is that the right word? It's just giving me problems. I mean, like I don't want to. I know this is an old figure. I know it's from 2012. But come on, don't give me, don't give me problems, Yellow Buster. Come on. I don't have to rebuy figures. That's gonna. I'm gonna hate that a lot. <laughs> But um, yeah, so looking at the back, nice detail on the body as well. Again, very just very good detail overall. Almost seems I'm not gonna really go over it too much as the boys of the Go Buster just is just basically just think of red and blue Buster just yellow. I do like her. I feel like she has in my personal opinion. I might be being biased because I do prefer Go Busters. Out of all the Sentai female figures that she released, I think they did her spot on. Yes, I feel like the skirt could be, in my opinion, I think the skirt be, could be a little bit more down. I feel like her skirt was a little bit more down, but oh, I think they kind of nailed her like outfit in terms of how it would look. I think they nailed it, in my opinion. Legs, yellow legs, female style legs. Oh, I say yellow legs, yellow boots, <laughs> female style legs and stuff, so. Ratch already over here despite the skirt can still do that which I think is pretty cool. So like I said the skirt doesn't really hinder anything. Um toe articulation if you can see that. Cause I'm doing this in a dark room. I should get a backdrop. 
Um, so, total articulation, god damn it. Zoom in. Come on. There you go. Total articulation right there. Just overall a very, very cool, interesting figure, I should say the least. Nice to articulation. Overall, I like the design of this figure. I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, Yellow Bust, I think you really did a good, decent job on her. So yeah, right now we'll be moving on to her accessories, starting with her hands. Now it's time to look at her accessories for Yellow Buster, starting with the hands. As you can see, they have four sets of hands besides the closed fist hands that you can use at your disposal. Let's start with these hands. Uh, these are the closed fist hand with an open palm a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's a great description, guys, for me. So um, <laughs> I'm assuming this is either for the Shogun Blade or the Ichigan Buster or Ichigan Buster Special Mode. I don't know. It's kind of tricky. Can never really tell until you actually put inside the weapon so there's that I'm, if i had to take a wild guess this considering how it looks this is look like the ichigan or my bad shogun blade pair of hands so and i just dropped it and i see it if i lose this in my room i would probably kill myself um <laughs> next thing up is the second set of open palm hands i really see here almost the same style as the red and blue buster so at this point, you probably already know what you're getting yourself into. Um, so there's that, and I'm pretty sure these are for the Ichigan Buster based on like, it looked like it's holding a pistol, like it's about to pull the trigger, like trigger hands basically. There you go, I knew the word. Trigger hands, that's what, that's what they are. Looking at these hands, I, the, the interesting thing about Yellow Buster, she has two sets of open palm hands. One of them are like, they're open palm, but all their fingers are connected, so there's that. And also these open palm hands with some of the fingers not connected. Now I'm assuming these hands specifically for her signature pose when she does her roll call when she says yellow bus, I'm assuming it's these hands, so I'm going to try to replicate that. So there's that. And yeah, those are all the hand accessories for Yellow Buster. And you'll be seeing the photos and poses that you'll be able to do with them right now. And here are all the weapon accessories that come with the Yellow Buster figure art. Let's start off with the Ichigan Buster. This is primarily, now the way Go Buster does this, it was kind of like a similar style as Go Kaiser's where they didn't actually have a personal sidearm. They all had the same sidearm. They just rotate how they use their weapons. Like in Go Kaiser, they all had a sword and a gun, but it was just how they were using it. For example, Go Kai Red, UT dual wield both a gun and a sword. Blue and yellow Go Kaiser Rangers, they dual wield swords and the Pink and green Gokaiger, Gokaiger's, I called them Rangers. <laughs> the Gokaiger's, they use guns. Same thing with, um, uh, what shit, what I about to say? Go Busters. Yeah, you know, the, the thing I'm reviewing right now, how could I possibly forget that? Uh, they dual will, well, they each use, they each can use all three of these, but they personally had their own style. For example, Blue Buster mainly used the Shogun Blade, Yellow Buster used the East Gun Buster was in my hand, and Red Buster used the East Gun Buster Special Mode. But looking at the East Gun Buster, same exact thing as what you get with Red and Blue Buster. So at this point, I'm not really going to go too much in detail with it. Shogun Blade, again, nothing really special here. Same exact thing that comes with the Red and Blue Buster, no difference. And the Ichigan Buster Special Mode. Again, same exact thing that comes with Red and Blue Buster, so I'm not going to go into too much detail there. And those are the weapons that come with the SH Figure Art Yellow Buster. Now you can see the various poses that she can do with these weapons, starting right now.
Now let's take a look at Yellow Buster's Buddy Roy Usada Lettuce. As you can see right here, this is the Usada Lettuce figure art. I guess you can call this a figure art, even though it's kind of like more of a stationary thing, if anything. The detail is good. The gold, even though it's like, even though it's supposed to be yellow, is really, really gold, which is fine. So, um, yeah, Usada Lettuce is more of a station. Nothing really here it has wheels. Like, in terms of mo like movability, because the character itself wasn't like, a humanoid, like, didn't have a suit actor. It was obviously CGI, or they just had a prop. They basically used a prop piece to move around, which was this big ass lettuce. I mean, I said lettuce. <laughs> I'm going by his name. Roger Rabbit, as he would like to refer himself to, or how he would like to announce it. Um, so, yeah. In terms of articulation, he can do basics. Like, he can move his ears and that's pretty much what you can get out of that and he can also move his arms in 360 joint I've, originally i had no idea you can actually move his arms but i'm actually moving right now and it's pretty cool that you can actually do that the wheels right here so at least they, again they gave him the detail i mean i don't know what i was pretty much expecting there's nothing to really complain here because it, it is what, like they, they pretty much captured his look Perfectly, I mean, he's a stationary figure. He can only really move, he only moves his arms. And yeah, I don't know what, what else to expect. So I'm just glad we was able to get her buddy Roy and we was able to complete the buddy Roy set. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Usada Lettuce. Now you're going to be seeing the poses that Usada Lettuce can do in his SH figure form, starting right now. Overall, I enjoyed the set. Uh, it's great that they decided to put Usada Lettuce with Yellow Buster instead of them being dicks and <laughs> release Usada Lettuce in a small box that costs like probably $30 because a premium Bandai exclusive. Oh boy, the second market price is on those. But um, yeah, overall, I enjoy it. The Yellow Buster completes the Go Buster scene, so you obviously need her for the core team. Sadly, Beat and Stag. I'm probably gonna be saying this so the day I die, Beat and Stag did not come out. I wish they did. I, there's still a chance. Five years later, I'm still waiting. Uh, <laughs> five years, there and still no Beat and Stag. It's never too late. I mean, you see Kamen Rider, in all seriousness, no. It's not like Bandai can't do it. It's not impossible because you see them re-releasing Kamen Rider stuff and new molds and stuff. I'm not saying Beat and Stag need an actual new mold. But, um, yeah, it's not really impossible for them to do, so, it's the deck is all on you, Bandai, to do it, so, there's that. Overall, though, I like both figures. Again, I got this really cheaply on Amazon, so if you want to go check out Amazon, by all means, go ahead. Great figure, completes the core Go Buster team with that figure that completes my whole SC Figure Arts Go Buster line, so... Uh, there's it for that because there's no more beaten stag. So thank you guys for watching today's video uh, The SH figure arts yellow buster and Usada lettuce review the next review I'll be looking at is time to get into some Megazord action because I'm going to be reviewing the Go Buster Ace Zord from Tokumei Sentai the deluxe Go Buster Ace I should say from Tokumei Sentai Go Buster But if you like today's video we should hit that like button comment down below and subscribe to the channel, to my channel. Otherwise, it's Crater signing off Catch you guys later. See ya.